Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. They say you cannot see the future, but today I am in Pune to witness future myself. And what I mean by future is this. Now I have received a request from a team of engineers known to me from Pune who have the solution to the future of solar fuel mobility. And all the keywords which are relevant, I have mentioned it here. They say they have invented a solar concentrator which is capable of achieving temperatures more than 2000 degrees Celsius which is extremely high in a commercial apparatus. All this to produce solar hydrogen by splitting water at these high temperatures. Now this is how a typical solar concentrator which is the existing ones look like where they use a few mirrors to reflect the sun rays to hit the target whereas in the invented apparatus it is using lenses. Now it will be interesting to see how multiple foci are converged to a single point. For that, let's head to the facility where this apparatus has been set up. Alright, now I'm driving towards Pune to have a site visit. Uh, one thing is very clear that the future of mobility is electric. But the main battle is the storage of this solar energy to be used in electric vehicles. The routes of storage of solar energy can be possible in two ways. One is through lithium ion batteries, which is uh, in the form of the pure electric vehicles. And the second is uh, the hydrogen fuel cell, which is uh, the fuel cell electric vehicle, which are known as the FCEVs. Now, lithium ion batteries have a life of about seven years, and more than 90% of these batteries are produced in only one country. For example, the battery pack of Tesla is consisting of about 5000 AA batteries bundled together. Now have you heard of recycling AA batteries 100% efficiently yet? Now in 7 years when these millions of batteries need to be discarded, they would be adding to our already intensive e-waste. Whereas for the future of fuel cell electric vehicles, if such an apparatus really does exist, then the possibility of water splitting to produce hydrogen through high temperature electrolysis which can be used as hydrogen fuel for hydrogen fuel cell cars can become more viable. Hence the hunt for sustainable future fuels continues. The apparatus in question is this. This is what they call a solar concentrator. This is 15 tons worth of steel, complex electronics just to hold 5 kilos of lenses and 100 kilos of mirrors. This solar concentrator is based on the Fresnel lens tunnel technology as shown here. This proof of concept uses 15 motors and 19 gearboxes to produce a rated torque of 3,75,000 Newton meters. All this initiative, pain and expense is to rise up to the expectations of the scholars in academia to help them get a method to produce solar hydrogen efficiently. Great! The basic principle of operation of how this apparatus reaches temperatures above 2000 degrees Celsius is because the concentration ratios are well above 7000. This apparatus is capable of achieving 2200 degrees Celsius in just about 7 to 8 seconds. Well, that's what the pyrometer gauge maxes out at. It's like uh, driving a car which is capable of reaching 300 km per hour but has a, has a speedometer of just 250 km per hour. Now, there are a few pathways to get hydrogen. But the USP of this apparatus is that it can give ionized steam at 2000 plus degrees Celsius, which may open new landscapes for solar fuels. It is said that the solar thermal pathways await that economic viability. But it seems through the FLT technology, major challenges may have been overcome. Now it's a battle between energy security, storage, batteries and domination versus renewable hydrogen, fuel cells and freedom. Now, if you look into the future, you will see substantial loss for oil producing nations and substantial oil tax revenue loss for oil consuming nations. India, for instance, has a revenue of around, of around 3 lakh crores in oil tax income only and that is per annum. If we continue to give importance to electric vehicles, then one day we might have issues of e-waste for which the answers are not yet ready. So if the engineers and scholars of the world are able to bring down the cost of solar fuels, then the naysayers of solar hydrogen may have to eat their words. Oh, and by the way, did I tell you that this apparatus is the only solar concentrator in the world which is able to achieve temperatures more than 2000 degrees Celsius with customized mass transfer. 
and on that note thanks for watching